All right, so we've been having an issue trying to figure out a way not to get our chicken feed wet when it rains. This house behind me is not the most uh, waterproof, uh, plus the wind is blowing sideways or whatnot, so uh, water, you know, goes in to the chicken feed and gets wet. So we've been throwing out a lot of chicken feed. Let me just show you the two uh, different kinds of chicken feeds that we've been using. And then let's check out our new chicken feed that's supposedly going to be waterproof. So here's the one I have in their house. Right here, you can see it unscrews on the bottom. I got it hanging here for them. Uh, of course the roof, it's solid roof here. But I think the rain comes in from from the side here. Windy, it's gonna blow in. So that didn't work for us. Let me show you the second feeder we have. So as you can see, our chickens are free range, truly, during the day. Here is the uh, second feeder we have. Uh, we've just been setting this one on the ground, but uh, it's supposed to hang up. This one too is not a waterproof feeder. Um, perhaps several different um, feeders that you can make. Um, you know, PVC pipe I've seen uh, constructed with a feeder to make waterproof. There's another feeder that they step on or whatnot. But this, let me show you the one that we just got in the mail today. So here it is. It uh, looks like it's going to be quite large, bigger than maybe I expected. So let's just open it up here and see what we have. Oh my. Looks like they uh, used uh, old egg cartons as uh, packaging. Interesting. So let's uh, pull it out here and see what we got. quite large let me pull it out and I'll show you what we have so looking through these egg cartons it looks like none of them are really salvageable to use for our eggs so unfortunately we'll just probably throw most of these away they're all torn up but here it is the uh, new feeder it's got some uh, feet that are gonna go on here on the bottom we got this from uh, this company here there's the uh, top part of it. Looks like it just uh, sits in here somehow, like so. Got a lid, and here is the rain cover. I guess it fits on there like that. And so, something like that. And we got these feet on here so we can raise it up of course so that looks like that's gonna work pretty well it hangs over quite a bit from the actual food here so we'll get this set up and see how it works for us so I got the feeder flipped over here on its, this is the bottom side putting the legs on they just uh, fit on here pretty easily so I'll get all the legs stuck on here This bottom here, these little tabs, they just push into the slot like so. So it's pretty easy to put them in like that. So now the base is connected here. Got our feet on and this lid, I guess, just sets on here. And then this rain shield, looks like a big hat just sits on top of there so uh, here it is here's some of the documentation that came with it you can see the design of this uh, feeder here the rain hat lid feeder cone the base and the legs this feeder is obviously much bigger than we need but hey this is gonna work nicely for us We'll fill this up a little bit. Obviously, I'm not going to fill this all the way. It's not necessary to fill it that much. 
I want the food to get stale or any can chance it might get wet. We're going to test this out and I'm sure it's not going to get wet because it's uh, got a, quite a large lid on top. All right, so literally we got this yesterday, Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, and it's been literally raining just about all day. It's supposed to pour down tonight. Well, let's go check out our new feeder and see how dry the feed really is. Oh yeah, this is uh, dry. It's not even wet. Trust me, this stuff gets really soggy and You can see this stuff is dry so this looks like to be a big success let me just take off this lid here just to show you all how dry it really is so as you can see the feed is completely dry so this worked quite well So two thumbs up. So that's the 26 pound eco feeder, chicken feeder, holds 26 pounds of feed. Um, looks like it's going to work good for us. There's a lot of different other options you can do. Build your own. Um, as I discussed earlier, this looks like the best option for us. We're going to try it out. Looks like our chickens already like it. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more uh, videos on our chickens. Make it a great day.